Tonight, the final 11th hour huddles. Republican and Democratic leaders working the phones, the final vote counting. This bill isn't just specific to Milwaukee. Just moments ahead of the critical and controversial Brewers funding bill. This is a trick that is unfortunately pulled by Major League Baseball. Tonight, passing the state Senate on a bipartisan 19 to 14 vote. What sealed the deal in the last 24 hours? I think part of it was um, the representation from Milwaukee County and the city of Milwaukee on the board and lowering our contribution a little bit, bringing the brewers up a little bit more. Today's last minute changes include gradually increasing a new ticket tax on non-game events at American Family Field, meant to lower the state's contribution, and restoring Milwaukee and Milwaukee County's appointees to the new stadium district board, which will oversee the funds. Was there a point where you needed to see more and you got more in terms of? Yes, um, it was unreasonable for them to expect us to pay the amount that we're paying and not provide um, seats at the table for the city and the county, and they did that. In the final package, the state is estimated to contribute roughly $360 million over the next 27 years on taxes collected on players' salaries, $135 million coming from Milwaukee and Milwaukee County, and an additional $110 million from the Brewers. This really came down to the final 12 hours. This, we were still moving less than 12 hours ago. You voted no. Was, was this a tough decision for you? What went into your decision? You know, the number one issue for me is I believe that we had to have a seat at the table, but I do believe that we needed more uh, from the brewers. The Senate changes were immediately sent over to the assembly late this afternoon for approval. Tonight, Governor Tony Evers is expected to sign the bill into law. At the Capitol, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. Three of the four Democratic senators who represent Milwaukee voted against the bill. Senators Chris Larson, Lena Taylor and Tim Carpenter all voted no. Latanya Johnson was the only Milwaukee senator who voted yes.